This one is the notable one where he apparently responded to a direct message about his natty status. Hey man, you're full of shit. Just tell fans you're on gear or TRT, pussy. <laughs> I've never, and his response, instead of just saying if he is or isn't natty, I've never cheated nor taken a shortcut in any capacity of life. What's up guys, Derek, MarkPlaceMordAids.com. Today we're gonna to be talking about Barbarian Lad, also known as Liver King, also known as Brian Johnson, also known as a fucking million different things apparently. So he is an absolute beast who went viral as fuck on Facebook recently, because that's you know the ultimate platform and I totally understand how their algorithm works. 4.9 million views. This lad eats, trains, and lives like a historic hunter-gatherer, and he's an absolute beast. So this is him. You gotta fucking mute it because of copyright, of course. Chalking up his hands, carrying heavy balls, flexing his abs, wringing out towels, getting that sweat in. This is Brian Johnson. He is something. A bodybuilder and nutrition specialist with a seriously different way of life. Um, and notably, I'll get into his, uh, he's a firm believer in ancestral health. Um, he's basically a, <laughs> fuck, I'll just give my description after I finish this video. Meaning his, his training, diet, and life in general all mimic that of historic paleo hunter gatherers. He does very, very masculine brawny fucking sick shit the barbarian 20 pound ankle weights 70 pounds on top of a sled 70 pound backpack two times 70 pound kettlebells drag that shit across your goddamn entire property for a mile brian lives on a 500 acre ranch with organically reared dairy cows and chickens and even has woodland areas with wild game for hunting we really got this place so that we could be self-sufficient and rely off the land. Suits a nature like early ancestors did. <laughs> well, he does some modern equipment in his workouts. Most of what he does involves eating testicles. Is that what it's going to say? Probably not. Come on, show me the next fucking thing. 106 pounds in each hand. Like butter. Look at that fucking ab separation, buddy. Look at that tan. Look at that beard. Look at that fucking form. Look at that walking. This is unmatched, bro. Chalk those hands up and farmers walk that shit. Here he is with a weighted belt about to hit some billion pound ch chain dips. Like it's fucking nothing. Like he's branch worn in a Zazny motivational. Here is his back. Many of his sessions could have been performed centuries ago with a rope and some rocks. Um, fucking climbing like it is nothing his body weight is no match for the complete athleticism and upper body strength that is the liver king here he is carrying a ball and this is getting a bit uh okay let's give it the fucking conclusion here and get out people want to know what does it mean to earn your carbs if you're asking that question in the first place you didn't earn it but if you really want to know earning your carbs looks like this they're gonna ring this shit out. Yeah, great. It's time to eat. Fuck yeah, five million views, bro. Let's see the comment section. I'm pretty sure hunter gatherers didn't use st steroids in their daily lives. I doubt that historic hunter gatherers had access to substances. They'd have grown them a steroid belly, but the guy has a spectacular physique nonetheless. Literally every piece of equi workout equipment he used was modern. So were his boots, all the knee braces and strapping he was using, also his clothes. Literally everything. And it was all set up on modern shelves with modern mirrors and modern flooring in a fucking modern garage. <laughs> Man, this guy's getting heated. Modern garage, because some of your workouts are outside with grass in the background and you have a beer. <laughs> it doesn't mean you're only working out like a hunter-gatherer. Ha ha. Ha ha. No, that's just it. Find all those anabolic bushes and hormone trees in the wild too, I bet. It's a well-known fact that ancient hunter-gatherers hunter did pointless contrived exercises and posted them online to impress 
Young males in other tribes. Even hunter-gatherers needed pharmaceuticals, it would seem. Fucking not crying laughing, but borderline. Yes, the hunter-gatherers were also on Tren, Deca, and Dianable. Uh, so pretty much every single comment is about him being on fucking gear or him not being actually representing the hunter-gatherer lifestyle or he looks sick and, you know, get on him or whatever. So this is his Instagram. He's also known as Liver King. I have not seen him self-proclaim the name Barbarian Lad. That seems to be what Facebook has given him, I guess. Or, you know, obviously this uh, sports Bible page on Facebook. But he is known by himself as the Liver King. And apparently he is one of the co-owners of Ancestral Supplements, which is a supplement company that sells, you know, like organs encapsulated for ease of ingestion. Like, for example, if you don't want to eat beef liver on its own, you know, having it in a capsule format can be quite useful. And it has an array of other, you know, like healthy, I don't know, like health encouraging products, you know, like beef organs, grass fed beef liver, um, heart, thyroid, pancreas, like literally fucking organs and capsules is literally what the site sells. And it's kind of interesting. I've never heard of him before until recently he started to like really pop off on social media. And he has invited a lot of natty or not discussions. This was the original one, apparently seven months ago. Owner of Ancestral Supplements, Brian Johnson, Liver King, Juice, Beet, Red, Veins Thicker Than My Penis, Gigantic and Lean, <laughs> Small Calves, and Influencer. Yep, I'm thinking Natty. I wonder who looks at people like this and goes, it's got to be those supplements. I'm kind of getting a saucy vibe. My red flags are red skin, literally shaved wax chest to show off. Obviously, with that beard, he should be hairy as shit. Using his physique to benefit his business, has a profit to make off of being fit out of his mind, and as such, promotes a certain ideology. This is enough said. Linked. See what it is. Are you going to fucking load? That's enough said. That's, I don't think, that much of a different picture than the fucking main one here, to be honest. This one looks more, probably more impressive. But anyway, if you filter his name on Reddit, you know, there's not a whole lot of talk about his ancestral lifestyle or his dietary practices. Rather, it's almost every single one about his gear use. Update, Liver King, LOL, this guy. This one is the notable one where he apparently responded to a direct message about his natty status. Hey man, you're full of shit. Just tell fans you're on gear or TRT, pussy. <laughs> I've never, and his response, instead of just saying if he is or isn't natty, I've never cheated nor taken a shortcut in any capacity of life. You earn the life and wife that you behold. Most people think it's impossible because they look like shit. Despite doing movements they call work, which isn't. And despite eating clean, which isn't. My thesis is that if you commit to these nine ancestral tenets, you will unlock the greatest version of yourself, your inner beast. You will optimize your testosterone, your growth hormone, your IGF-1, your DHT, your metabolic markers, and you will achieve a higher version of yourself that is to behold too. I believe in the ways of our ancestors. We are descendants of the sole surviving species of genus Homo, the baddest alien <laughs> predators that ever lived. I honor these ways by blah, blah, blah. Optimize DHT LMAO. Don't forget about your nine ancestral tenets first, bud. Dude wants insane hair loss for maximum masculinity. This guy is honestly fucking retarded. I don't know how he runs a company. Yeah, that's a great point. Who the fuck typed retarded shit like that? What a clown. Just wait. He might run it into the ground. It's nine ancestral tenets. One, test. Two, try it. Three, Anavar. Four, D-Ball. Five, Winstrol. Six, Primo. Seven, Deca. Eight, Anadrol. Nine, Gay Segs. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? He's lying. All you need to unlock gains is divine protein shakes from your local gym bros. Trenets. Although organ meat is considered better for building muscles as they are pound for pound more nutritionally dense than muscle meat such as chicken breast, organ meats are very high in protein, cholesterol, iron, zinc, magnesium, and copper peptides. These are all essential for optimal testosterone levels. Blah, blah, blah. Regardless, it does not change the fact this guy is on steroids. Just look at his muscular development. Our ancestors sure hell does not look like that naturally. One way to spot someone who's on steroid is their skin condition, especially around the chest area. Thin and grainy and wanting to glow as red. <laughs> this is one of the side effects of excessive DHT. Your fucking chest gets just shines red, bro. So anyways... A lot of uh, talk about this guy's natural status. Um, pretty much every fucking thread is about if this guy's natty or not. Update, Liver King, raw testicles. This man's fuckery knows no, knows no bounds. 
Next, I assume he'll be sucking bull dick to optimize DHT, as per mentioned in his copy past that reply to me. Natty or not, Natty or not, Liver King, Juicy, subreddit, Flare. Um, what the fuck? That is a thing? Clearly, I could click the wrong thing because now I have subcategorized by Juicy, when in reality, I just wanted to click it. Um, so yeah, pretty fucking insane physique. He's tanned, he's fucking huge, he's ripped. He's got a very developed six pack and chest and just every, the mes muscularity is very, very fucking saucy looking. So has he claimed, you know, Natty versus not? Basically he responds in the circumventing way that you saw in that, uh, you know, original message. The, hey man, you're full of shit. Just tell your fans you're on gear, gear or TRT, you pussy. And then he says a bunch of shit that like ultimately is irrelevant at the end of the day. You know, you're going to get the fucking life and wife that you behold. Like, how's that? Like, why? I don't know why you even take the time to respond, dude. Like, I don't know. Is he just trying to incite fucking debate? I'm not really sure if it's, if it is, I guess it's working. Uh, let's see what his most recent story was. One rep max, max back squat. Looks like a fuck ton of weight, bro. Like, what the fuck am I even looking at, dude? He has, like, one plate hanging off the edge, like, 50 chains, another, like, a bumper plate or something, another plate, a fucking bumper plate, another, like, I don't know what I'm even looking at, dude. Like, is this a 1,000 fucking pounds or, like, 400? Like, I don't know. Or less. 20 minutes of sled work, leg extension. What up, Primals? Just finished the afternoon workout. And it was a tough one. It's gonna be 10 rounds of 10 deadlifts, 10 strict handstand pushups, and 10 chest to bars, all unbroken. So once again, that's 10 rounds of 10 deadlifts, 10 strict handstand pushups, and 10 chest to bars. I'm gonna show you around here in a second. Good luck, Liver King out. Jesus. Little King here, it's Monday dinner, and this is what we're having. We got about 12 to 14 ounces of some ground muscle meat, some liver, heart, pancreas, and spleen. So we got muscles and organs right here. We got about two to three ounces of some raw liver. We got a little minute. This guy looks like a fucking World of Warcraft character, bro. Standing Arnold, incline dumbbell press, high rep dips. Fucking, this guy does not quit, bro. His story is just him perpetually training his nice. balls off around the clock. Um, so anyway, obviously he looks pretty fucking sick. He has incited a lot of uh, Natty or Not speculation. He only started posting as of recent, August 18th. And I don't know, like, how he just, like, randomly went viral as fuck. I, by chance, I'm not really sure. But ultimately, people want to know, is this guy Natty or Not? And I've had, uh, interestingly enough, one guy reach out to me. He said, this is one of the first times I heard about it. If you want to lose brain cells, this guy will test your synapses. Dude claims 100% natty, is out here eating honking amounts of liver and generally giving some cave bro science. My man out here trying to say that our ancestors were 250 and shredded to the fucking gills. Uh, I said, where does he claim natty? Link me to where he says that because I, I was just in disbelief that anyone that looks like this would say that. Um, you know, it certainly possibly could be natty, I guess, but... I had to dig into it a bit further to kind of get uh, more insight and get kind of a, you know, some longitudinal data going. He says, yeah, I got you doing more research into the guy. She has much more nuts views than just the natty thing. I was not the one sending the DMs, but I messaged the guy who did. And it appears he didn't talk to him more after receiving that message. So this is the message that he's referring to here. Um, the tell people you're on gear pussy comment. In this article here, he talks about his hormonal levels using some sketchy science, stating if you take them, 
There's a negative feedback loop where your body stops producing all natural hormones, I think. His comments are in red. I believe the article itself is written by his wife. So, you know, ultimately, um, it sounds like he's very, very in touch with, you know, the ancestral way of living. He doesn't like things that, you know, agonize receptors synthetically and shit. He's into all the natural means. Um, but yet, interestingly enough, despite talking about plastics and chemical leaching and all this shit, and, um, you know, what we put in our body and implying, you know, he's basically just a ancestrally consistent fucking warrior. And that's why his balls are just superior to everybody else's. You know, he looks, uh, I don't know, deceivingly fucking unnatty, to be honest. Or deceivingly, what would be the proper fucking description of this guy? He does not look natty really at all. You know, maybe, maybe you could argue if this guy was like a very short individual and very compact Maybe you could argue for it, but in you know reality, the likelihood is extremely low that this guy is natural, to be honest. And he has some potentially impressive performance metrics. Like it's kind of hard to say. Like some of his fucking lifts in the gym look like he's like maxed out the fucking bar width with plates and chains. Like it's got to be some substantial weight, unless he's just using like fucking air-filled bumper plates all the time. Like here he is hitting a max out on upper body. Apparently, it's not going to load, though, so apparently I need to fucking refresh it. So bear with me. This is Max Upper Body by Fitness Freak Lift Heavy Liver King. Ah! Holy shit. Oh, my God. That was amazing. That was a fucking grinder, bro. Like, how much weight is this here? We have a band. We have a 45-pound Olympic bar. Then we have a big plate. Two, three, four, five, six. Fucking, like, seven fucking... Seven or eight plates, dude. Like, I don't... Of what, though? Like, I don't understand, like, what this is even comprised of. Maybe somebody can elaborate who knows what. One, two, three, four, five, six seven and then maybe eight i don't know like does anyone know what the fuck this is an actual weight that would be quite insightful um the comment section what a beast when your spotter is working from home tim allen had he continued with his life of crime 765 jesus christ wow obviously not those aren't all 45 just the first four on each side are but still a lot and still impressive it's 695 haha <laughs> no I doubt the first four are all 45s. When a bumper is green, the color is associated with 10 kilograms. Okay, well still, what does uh, what's that equate to? I would like to know. No hate, just wondering what the bands are for. It's trying to improve the strength at the top of the rep because that's where it's harder. Fought that rep, a 765 bench or 695, not sure. So I don't know what he's doing, but some of these lifts, like presumably even if these are like fucking 10 kilogram bumper plates, like cumulatively, this must be like reasonable weight, I would imagine. Um, and he's maintaining these super high lips whilst being shredded as fuck and huge simultaneously. And he's just bursting onto the scene and fucking promoting the absolute nine tenets of, uh, you know, ancestral living, promoting eating steaks and shit, and um, just being the all around boss that he is. What do I think about his uh, natural status? Frankly, I think that it is extremely misleading to even respond. Like, like if you're not going to respond, okay, whatever. But to respond with like this, and like act like this somehow is like, I, like, I don't know. He's essentially claiming natty. If you're going to say this instead of just saying, you know, I took some shit, but it's not like I'm in a fucking regulated sport. So why does it matter? I've never cheated nor taken a shortcut in any capacity of life. Like, did anyone ask if you've cheated in a tested league or anything like that? Like, no, obviously you're not, you're not being fucking drug tested to take the shit that you're doing. Like you can do whatever you want. So sure. You've never cheated or taken a, a shortcut, like, I don't know, in his head is he somehow like spinning this in a way that makes it feel like more justified to, I don't know, like, I, I don't know why anyone would take the time to reply in this way when they could just be like, yeah, I am or no, I'm not and like, fuck off, you know? So ultimately, what do I think? I would be uh, like, to be honest, I think the likelihood is extremely high this guy is enhanced and I do not think this is representative of ancestral living physique development really, you know, obviously, on gear, I think it is, but I mean, off of gear, do I think he would maintain the same body composition? Frankly, I don't have historical data to really reference, so I'm just going off of some of his like misleading responses, his physique development in general, 
strength metrics or at least you know perceived strength metrics whilst being concurrently lean as fuck i do think this guy is enhanced and i think he is uh deferring when people try to call him out for it i think he could otherwise just be like yeah i'm on fucking trt or yeah i'm on test or whatever it is and uh, that would be the end of it no one would really care but i guess it's not consistent with ancestral living to be on synthetic exogenous fucking pharmacology so i can see why he would be a bit averse to uh mentioning it and frankly, that's probably, you know, perhaps what this boils down to is it's not evolutionarily consistent with, you know, ancestral living to be on copious amounts of testosterone exogenously. So is that actually what he's doing for certain? It's hard to say, you know, again, he only started posting back in fucking August. So I'm not really certain, but I mean, to me, if I was to go out on a limb, I would say unnatty, but you know, We've seen, we've seen individuals who, you know, may be natty that otherwise have physiques, you know, comparable to this guy or um, superior to this guy. It's just the way, I don't know, just something about the way his physique looks, the development, the overall muscularity in general, the simultaneous leanness with the strength there concurrently. I don't know. To me, this guy, you know, definitely gives off a pretty saucy vibe. And I would guess on natty, you know, certainly could be uh could be wrong, you know, maybe I know like the Paul Sklar video was like pretty fucking controversial and um, Greg's stance was that he was indeed natural. So hypothetically, if like, you know, if Paul Sklar could be natural, if this guy, I don't know what this guy's height is though, but I mean, is it so unreasonable to think that this guy could be too? I don't know. My guess is, <laughs> my guess is no. I think this guy is fucking saucy and I don't think he likes talking about anything that is not consistent with ancestral living. When in reality, I think he does indeed pin in his fucking ass synthetic chemicals. So, I don't know. That's not to shed poorly on him or, you know, discredit his hard work to get this physique. The, main the maintenance of this lean of a physique with simultaneous muscularity involves very significant adherence and rigorous training and whatnot. And um, definitely, like, you know, long-term patience as well while you develop it. Obviously not as patient as a natural necessarily, but I mean... You're going to have a much lower ceiling as a natural too. I think this is representative of sauciness, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. All the comments help the algorithm. They're much appreciated. Like, subscribe, check out my blog, MarePlaceMoreDates.com. Follow me on Instagram, at MarePlaceMoreDates. Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below. My TRC clinic, all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home. Um, Gorilla Mind, Nootropic Formulas, Gorilla Mode, Pre-Workout Formulas, I design myself from scratch, as well as my recommended diet model for muscle growth and sports performance whilst being mindful of micronutrient density, electrolyte intake, etc., which obviously seems to be something that he's a very high, uh, a very high proponent of in his content is high quality foods, um, very, very nutrient dense foods, things that are going to be well tolerated from the uh, from a basic ancestral perspective, I guess. Because again, a lot of these synthetic foods that like aren't even foods being sold nowadays, a lot of shit out there that is not, you know, homegrown and or, you know, like high quality from a reliable like farmer, farmer and or, you know, business practice um, can ultimately lead to, you know, deleterious effects in your, you know, gut microbiome, your health, your mental clarity, your sports performance, etc. And it seems like this guy has, you know, basically sorted it out and kind of dialed everything in. But I do think the dialing in it involves a bit of pharmacology. Could be wrong on that. That's just my stance. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. All the comments help the algorithm. Much appreciated. Talk to you guys soon.